friends. I hope you guys are doing great today. Um, my hair's kind of all kookamonga this morning, but I just wanted to share something that was on my heart um, this morning in my Bible study. I was I read um, this scripture, uh, but he gives more grace. Therefore, he says, God resists the proud, but gives grace to the humble. And I just wanted to share a little bit of my heart. Um, I've gone through, I'm recently, and it's probably been a little bit more with, with the move, just being away from family. I wasn't working for a little bit. Um, so I was kind of going through some major struggles, um, thinking about mistakes from the past and regrets from the past and um, just really having a tough time. And then I did something amazing. I completely surrendered. And you know, as a Christian, I have gone through many of uh, seasons and moments of completely surrendering to him. And where all of those times have been amazing, there was something about this time of surrendering that just completely changed my heart. It brought me to a place of peace, of forgiveness, of love, of joy, um, and just all of those things that the Lord really does want for our lives. He doesn't want us to live in regret. He doesn't want us to live in sin or uh, feeling sorry for ourselves. The devil wants you to live that way, uh, but God doesn't. God wants you to live in this peace that just overwhelms you. And it's not a piece of you, like the piece of you that you give yourself. It's not the peace of the world, but it's a peace that can only come from Jesus. And so I just want to really encourage you today to humble yourself. Humble yourself before the Lord. Humble yourself to a, a point where you just surrender it all to Him. You give it all to Him. You surrender it to Him. It's His. It's His alone. Your mistakes, your sins, your failures, your broken pieces, your broken heart, those are His. And He wants to take those pieces and make you whole again. He wants to fill your heart. He wants to fill your life. So allow him, humble yourself to him. And if he leads you, humble yourself to others. Um, come to a place of just that complete security in him, that complete peace in him. And I promise you're not going to regret it. He loves you. He wants you at peace. He wants you in joy. And just remember this scripture. I'll read it again. James 4, 6. But he gives more grace. Therefore, he says, God resists the proud, but gives grace to the humble. Actually, I don't know if I started off the video with that, but um, that is the scripture that really resonated with me this morning. Um, I'll read it again. But he gives more grace. Therefore, he says, God resists the proud, but gives grace to the humble. He gives grace to the humble. Humble yourself, love yourself, humble yourself, surrender yourself, all to him, all for him, all in him. You can do anything in God who strengthens you. So just stand in that, stand in that truth, um, stand in his love, stand in his grace. There's nothing in this world that you could ever do that would make him not love you. So stand in that today. Love yourself enough to humble to him. Humble yourself to him. Surrender, surrender all to him. He loves you. He wants you in his life. He wants to be in your life. He is in you. He's in your heart. He's in your spirit. So just take the time today to completely surrender. I love you. God loves you. And... Have a wonderful day. Walk in peace. Walk in his love. Walk in his grace. Bye, guys.